G'day Martin, uh, David Hart's my name. Um, I'm going to, uh, this will this will be your first uh, lesson. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to cover a couple of things with you. Um, th th this, th this is what we call web, web viewition, as you saw on the, um, the original uh, website before you sent through your email. Um, basically what, we, what we're doing here is giving you the lesson via YouTube or via the internet rather than you having to come here for the lesson. So the first couple of lessons are going to be a little bit um, sort of here and there because I, I need to get to know you and know what you, what you need. Um, so if what I give you initially is not quite what you're looking for, I'll, what I need you to do is say that in your emails um, when you reply to me and just tell me what, what exactly that you're hoping to learn each time. Um, I will post questions with, uh, to you through this so you might want to note the down the questions. Um, first of all what I'm going to do, is, uh, as I did, I asked you a couple of questions there uh, on, on the original phone book phone call, but the first thing I want to do is have a look at your technique, because without a, a good solid foundation to technique, um, it's not going to happen. Now, you will get, basically on the attachment to that email, you would have had uh, what we call our e-kit. Um, on the e-kit, you're going to get um, a sheet that looks um, like this. This is called your, your daily practice sheet. So the idea is that we want to look at those skills. Um, you can see that we've got the skills which are picking, chords, arpeggios, scales, rhythm and reading, and finally oral. Um, I'll go through and I'll explain each one of those to you so you understand what they mean. Picking, of course, is the right hand. So if you can, try and have that sheet in front of you. Um, but pick, this, this picking here is, is, is anything. It can be either be picking with a pick or it can be finger picking, whatever you like. So. So depending on, we're going we're to we'll cover we'll cover whatever you'd need to cover. Um, but initially, let's just start with the plectrum and see if we can get that part of it right. So what I want you to do with the plectrum, I'm not sure how you've been holding it, but let's just assume um, that that you've been holding it right. But if you just have a look at this, it, basically the way to do it is put your thumb up, and then with your other hand, um, just to get it in position, you put the pick like that. So you're actually holding the pointed end with the other hand. You bring your thumb up behind and then you bring your finger up t to support it. Then you just get into a comfortable position, whatever's going to work for you. But, j but what you want to try and do is not use any other fingers, just have the first finger and the thumb. Okay, so let's pick a note. So I'm just picking the A string there, the fifth string. And all I'm doing is picking down. What you want to do here is, when you pick it is you want to strike the string. So be very careful when you're picking that you're not actually um, sitting on the string but you're sitting a little bit off the string and you, st you strike and follow it through and then we, you bring your pick back into position making sure again you're not touching. What people tend to do when they're learning is they'll touch the string and it'll buzz. Hear that? That's what they tend to do because they're trying to find the string and trying to get back into position but you want to make sure that you just bring that back. So. The first exercise that I want you to do is just to be going down and up on one string. It, it, it seems very basic, but it's a fundamental to playing guitar. You need to work on your picking at all times. The right hand would definitely be the most neglected part of people's playing. And gradually what you're going to do is you're going to speed it up so you, so you can get that. So it's basically so that you, you can pick at any any sort of, as you start learning songs, you, you, you can easily get around. If you don't focus on the picking and the isolation of the picking, then that will be a problem. Um, on the daily practice sheet, you can see the first skill that I put at the top there is the picking because it's so important. Um, you should work on it each and every day. Um, when you're playing guitar, then the majority of, of the work is done with the right hand. In fact, you, you, nearly everything you do, uh, apart from a little bit of hammering and pull-offs on this hand, is coming from the right hand. So this hand can actually do very little, and this this hand, you can, you can see there, that I'm just doing that. It takes a song like Eye the Tiger. You can see that I'm not doing anything with my left hand other than holding a note. But meanwhile, the right hand is having to keep a nice steady beat. Okay, so on the picking sheet, you're going to see five picking exercises there. You, you, the, the, there's a sheet, if you look at the page, which has the picking on it, there's going to be these five different exercises. I'll start off with the first one, which is going to be simply picking down and up on the sixth string. Down and up. I'll 
I'll explain the other ones as we go in, uh, in lessons further down the track, but I just want you to, this week to work on the first one. Now here's the important points. If you go to that picking page, what you're going to find is at the top of it, I'll just pull it up, at the very top of it there, you can see there's some instructions, um, some points. So it says, first one says, brace your right hand. So brace your right hand. And I'll explain that in a minute. The next one is hold the pick firm at 90 degrees. The third one is begin in slow motion until you have picking action. Correct. And then the fourth one is medium to hard picks are preferable. Um, so try and stay away from soft picks. You need a solid pick in order to have control. If the pick's too soft, you don't have control. The only time you really use soft picks is when you want to play really soft. If you're just sort of doing a bit of background and you don't want too much noise, so it can generate for strumming, not for picking. Um, okay, bra bracing your hand. Again, this is a big mistake, a very important point. Um, what you need to do to brace your hand, what I'm going to get you to do initially is just sit those three strings, those three fingers on those three strings. So I'll bring that up nice and close so you can see that I'm putting those three right there. And then that's going to bring the thumb up here ready to pick the sixth string. That keeps the hand in position so it's nice and steady. And that's what you want to do. You want to have a nice steady hand. Sorry, let's, let's go and we'll do that six string. So we're going to go down, up, nice and slow. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So you keep going. Keeping it nice and slow. It's not about speed, it's about getting it sounding accurate. See that I'm bracing there the whole time? Make sure you don't forget that. That's, that. That is the important one, bracing, keeping the hand braced the whole time. Okay, so let's move on to the next part, which is chords. Um, I'm going to give you a little bit of an introduction, of course. I've actually got some extra videos available on here um, that you can go and have a look at that's part of this whole uh, program where it'll s sort of explain a bit more about chords. Um, so I'm not going to go too much into it because you can go and have a look at the video. I'll just quickly go through um, a couple of the main points. Um, again, if you look at the, the, the chord sheet, um, chord page, um, on that Word document, you'll see the first thing it says is to use the tips of your fingers. All right, so, so you want to basically get... There's a lens here. There we go. You want to get the tips of your fingers. So I'm going to press down on one string here really hard so it actually indents my finger. And then you can see it. There you go. You can see that how it's where it's marked so what that's doing is it means that that the reason we do this sorry is that 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 way you get the maximum pressure onto the note with without um, you know if you if you play on the pads of the fingers that part there what you tend to do is sit down on the strings below and you also don't get as much pressure on the string so so we want to get plenty of pressure on the string there so that's the first thing is make sure you play on the tips of the fingers good